Welcome back to episode 38 of my Lone Wolf Let's Play. I just pulled up to the house uh, of the heart I'm going to kill. Uh, not much going on. Um, I did just run into a bloater on the bridge, I think, right here. I was going to come over here directly after the last episode. Um, but yeah, I ran into the bloater, so I had to go home. Uh, there was a... the horde spawned right in front of me. Uh... I hadn't had that happen in quite a while. Usually the... I don't know. I know it's a bit, been a problem for a lot of people, but since like a couple Never updates ago, I, I've not had it happen. Um, until now, I guess, with an infestation horde. Maybe infestation hordes are special and don't warp out of the way. I, I see the hordes like warping, warping out of your way a lot. Which I think is what they've added to uh, make it so bloaters don't spawn in front of you um, as much. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just talking. To, <laughs> I should. I, should, I don't know why I ran out. Of, ran out. I should have just attacked hard. Um. But yeah, it. Yeah, just spawned right in front of me. And, yeah, blew right up. Jumped out of my car. I, it didn't seem like it affected my car either. And it was weird. It didn't seem like it affected my car much. Um, I was able to just like get out of my car and not even. Only took like 50% um, infection and not that much uh, uh, injury either. It was very strange. Uh, like, in full, whoops, in full, I guess. Um, and I tried to t get a recording of it. Like, you uh, you can hit Windows G and open up like the Xbox. Whoops, I meant to hit the other one. Uh, you hit Windows G and get like a last 30 seconds recording of. Like, the, whatever Windows or whatever Xbox game you're playing. But, uh, it... The, the, the video has the sound that's correct, but it, um... The video, like, the, the image or whatever is literally just the, like, Juggernaut Edition logo. Like, the, the dark blue and, like, you press any button to continue. Like, the very first screen. I, I don't know why it does that. Or did that, I should say. I have had issues with it recording, like, the last 30 seconds um, before, but, again, not recently, so I, I don't know. I mean, I've used it multiple times during this beta, I believe, like, to get a bug or whatever, just get a 30 seconds of an issue, and... Um, yeah, so I don't know what happened. I, th I thought it was a nice intro to this... A nice intro to this video to have a... Uh, like, just to show me driving into a bloater um, that spawned in front of me, but... I think that's the feral. Oh, the feral was... The feral was smart. <laughs> like, ran to the back, or ran around the, to the side of the house where I knew I was going to jump out. Ooh, let's... Go for the head. Oh, one other thing, I do, if my voice sounds a little off, I do have a bit of a stuffed nose, uh, or more runny nose. Um, no coughing or anything like that, so I don't think it's COVID. Uh, although I will do one of those, like, tests later, I don't, I just, I'm a homebody, so I don't really go out much, uh, so I don't, I don't need to, like, do that for any, like, specific reasons for my own knowledge, I suppose, but... Um, whoops, I meant to press F, not spacebar. Uh, yeah, I feel fine, it's, it's not a problem, just like a bit, a bit of a runny nose. So if my nose, or if my voice sounds a little bit different, that's why. Um, and I'm gonna try not to sniff, sniffle on camera, I might have to pause a couple times to sneeze. I had to cut off the end of the last episode with a quick outro, because my nose was in dire need of being blown. Um, but it feels fine now, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen again. There's a feral out there, definitely. I heard it a couple times. Uh, let's run out to the road, I guess. I don't know where the feral is. Oh, there it is. Hello. Thank you for coming on queue. Aim for the head. 
Well, that was just like way off. Oh, <laughs> why isn't this guy dying? Well, because I keep shooting and then dodging to cancel the reload. That's why. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I said it, but the reason why I'm targeting this heart, um, well, there's only six hearts left, so it's not like I have a, you know, a ton of different options, and any heart really matters at this point, but, um, this heart is sending out infestations here, and now this infestation was level three, so now it's propagating itself, um, because it's going kind of around and not going through this safe zone of traps that I've set up. So this one's about to die as soon as it... I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to keep the map open while I'm standing next to a plague heart, but uh, that uh, infestation horde is just going to die when it gets to the traps, which has been my plan most of this map, is just keep that, keep that outpost going as much as possible with the traps. There's a zombie stuck on the door there. Um, and... Uh, it has been keeping me clear, but now that this heart woke up, um, I think on its own, maybe I came over here and it woke up, I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't really matter. In any case, this, this heart needed to go because it's the only one that actually is really causing any, anything on its own. Uh, let's grab a little bit of goodies, as much goodies as I can carry, just so, uh, I don't have a bunch of goodies to grab later. Once I've killed all the hearts, I usually go around and grab at least most of the stuff. Uh, okay, let's just go to the next heart, because I'm not that damaged. Uh, we'll go there, I suppose. I would go to the one directly south, but there's no real, no real reason to uh, go after a heart that's asleep, as opposed to one that's awake. What the hell am I thinking? I... Hopefully this doesn't take 20 minutes, so... This might just clear up. Is there a better one to go get? Yeah, I don't really want to go after one right next to a, uh... I wonder if I could park, like, right here? And block the staircase as well as the window? I don't know if that's necessarily a great idea or not, but if... Oh, you know what? I should probably just park underneath. Whoops, underneath the window. Uh, uh next to the heart. Oh, I thought I shot there, and then I didn't. Time to reload. Oh, I thought I had reloaded. Now I'm confused. Okay, um, come on. I did craft a whole bunch of more arrows. Uh, yeah, I, I was down to like 90-ish. Um, oh no, this is fully, or almost fully enclosed with a metal fence, so I can't park underneath this window. Um, yeah, I... I was down pretty well on materials. Well, I mean, I spent like 50 materials or whatever, but I had 150. Uh, and... Yeah, then I deposited a couple more materials. I guess that's not too exciting. Not too exciting of a story now that I've started to think about what I was saying. Um, but the, like a few episodes ago, I said that I was like kind of running out of um, arrows. Uh, but... Of course, I had the materials to craft more and have the bolt crafting station that I got at some point. I think very early on, actually. Um, oh, I was just thinking, where's the feral? But I've already killed all the zombies, so this feral is not going to be too big of a deal. Excuse me. There 
actually like two different hearts that have uh oh what the heck that have like a hostile enclave right next to them um so i'm not really sure what Uh, I'm not sure which um, heart I'm going to go for next, because I don't, I said this earlier, but I don't want to go after a heart with a hostile enclave literally right next to it. That seems um, non-optimal, I guess. Jeez. I had, like, really easy heart. Well, I had the first heart yesterday, or in last episode, was... Real... Was, uh... I'm stuck in. S can can we not? How about that? Can we not? I knew too much time with the damn zombies would make me sick. Can I hit any shot near the stupid feral's head? Thank you. Gee, oops, that, that's, that's a live zombie, or undead zombie. I do want that uh, mission to not time out, so let's keep that active. I don't think, I think you have 15 minutes or whatever to do the mission, so it shouldn't be a problem, but just making sure. And I do have a number of injuries, so just checking to make sure I'm still uh, lightly encumbered. Let's use a first aid kit and carry a cure on me. You never do get used to the smell. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> I felt like my character was just standing there for... I don't know, it was probably like a second, but it felt like several seconds that I was just standing there and like slowly turning as the thing was about to fart on me. There's definitely a feral somewhere. Damn, that oh, yep, fast. there it is. And I just... I'm just not even close with that shot. What the heck is that? I'm just realizing that I have no idea how hurt the heart is. There's been at least one fart. I think only one. Which makes the amount of plague that I have a little bit concerning, but... I don't know, we'll see. I like how I just let that guy go and didn't kill him. It's damaged. Just gotta keep at it. Okay, so I was actually right. There was one, only one um, part. But now we've done the second one. Coming down home stretch, so to speak. Knock that guy over, please. Thank you. What? Oh my gosh. Infestation horde. 
coming after me now. Uh, let's just run up here and hope the infestation horde leaves, I guess. There's just so many... Oh, it does not look like it's leaving, huh? Don't want to get in my car. I don't need to get in my car. I mean, it'll take a little bit to shoot all these guys, but it's not a big deal. I say as I get hit. Get your big... Oh, there we go. It warped away. I guess when you get like a, is it a hundred meters or 115 meters away, maybe somewhere around there, uh, from the middle of the pack, or I don't know, but they all warped up there, so that's nice. What? Did a mission just spawn next? Can I hit any shot, please? Did a mission just spawn like right next to me somewhere? Oh yeah, over there. I've said this before, I do not know why I... Come on, what the heck is that? Why I grab every single, um, flag sample that I see, but... I do, it's some sort of habit, I guess. Oh! Again, thank you for letting go of the zombie. I didn't want to kill them anyway. They're not going to come attack me yet. I was going to say, this heart is about to die. If they, if they don't quickly send someone, this heart is going to be dead. Uh, might as well grab that as well. I think my car was over here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to drive back up. Oh, yeah. I need, I need to get rid of my plague. Uh, so I'm going to drive up to my house really quickly, and I'll be right back. Nearest plague heart. This might just clear up. It's getting a little late in the day, but let's see if we can come down here and take out this plague heart right at the corner. Oh, it's already late. That's okay, we'll we'll start it. We might leave if it gets dark. Um, I don't really want to, obviously, but uh, just for view, viewing purposes, I don't want to have, have it be pitch black while you guys are trying to watch. That would be pretty miserable. Oh, there's just a screamer standing out here, I guess. Whoops. And there's just another horde walking in. Oh, that was a... Get out of my way, you big-headed boo- Ah, big-headed boys, I'm trying to say. The barrel. Go for the head. Oh, there's multiple ferals here. Luckily, they're all just chilling, I guess. What is with these ferals? What? Oh, now they're aggro on me all of a sudden. Do you mind? Go for the head. Please 
they even mean so I can shoot you? Darn. Give me that arrow back, please. Give me that arrow back, please. Give me the arrow. I don't know. I don't think I got it. Come on, hit my shots. Considering I haven't even hit the heart yet, I kind of feel like I should just give up for this okay. clip and just like come encounter. back in the morning. But let's get a couple, let's see if we can get like the first part down at least. That blood feral moves fast. It's already getting so dark. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Please tell me you haven't forgotten what we talked about. I think I will. Cannot hit the broad side of a barn. Go for the head. I think I am just going to uh, get it down past the first part and then go back home and rest. Or in like a loot and stuff because it is gonna get dark here, really dark in very little bit of time. Come on. Let's see if we can circle around and Kick the heart probably like one more time. Gotta watch the noise. Literally, it's always one more. Literally, one more time. That's always what it is. Okay, I'm just gonna drive home. Well, actually, drive and do some looting. Um, so I'll be back in the morning after he gets light out. Whoopsies. So, uh, I will be RB. It is near. Oh crap. It is nearly morning. Uh, let's come down here and finish off this heart. I have a follower from this random mission. They want me to kill some heart, random enclave, but instead up? I'm going to kill a heart. I've already do oh, there's a bloater right in front. Uh, let's park right here. So instead of killing the heart, or sorry, instead of killing random hostiles can kill this heart which would be too difficult already have a third of it down and she doesn't seem as useless as most of them seem most NPCs I mean I don't think she got grabbed five times during that one fight so it's already an improvement she might have a bow though does she I couldn't tell fast enough. It looked like. Never do get used to the smell. Okay. Whoop. Is she gonna come inside or just stand out there? One left. What the? Oh, there's a juggernaut here now, too. I did uh, get three grenades overnight. Where did she warp to? She warped somewhere way far off. I did get three grenades overnight in the combat resupply drop. Um, hoping to not have to use them immediately, though. That would be nice. So I'm going to try to just stay inside as much as possible. If there's a juggernaut here, though, there's probably going to be screamers and bloaters and ferals. Unless it's just a singular juggernaut. Three more kicks. Oh, one more kick, I guess. Yeah, there's a feral running in. Uh, let's... Let's just run this way and try to pull her this way as well. 
see if we can get a little bit of sight on this pharaoh before we run back in. She's just sitting there. What is she doing? Okay, I guess I'm running back in. Oh, there she is. Okay, time for the heart. Despite another horde coming in now. Oh, that's a barrel. Okay. Close the door. Get out of the way. I don't know what's happening. Oh, she's still alive. She's good at running, I guess. Come on, Feral. I like how the Feral literally pushed past an NPC to attack me. Then again, recently I've been wishing they would attack me because it's hard to target them otherwise, or hard to shoot them otherwise. See if we can get this down here real quick. I think that's gonna be her getting ripped in half. Maybe not. Did she get back up somehow? Nice. Good job, lady. And good job me, I got the heart down, didn't take any damage or get the plague. Uh, I guess I only did two thirds, I don't remember if I... Well, technically it doesn't, it wouldn't really count anyway because I did leave in between. So I'm gonna run away, but that is the third heart of the episode, I believe. Yeah, three hearts left, one more episode of heart killing and then we're done with Drucker, on to Trumbull. So I'll be back, uh, tomorrow, so thank you for watching.